begins with. The figure shows a rectangle with two vertices on a semicircle of radius 3 and two vertices on the x-axis. Let the point xy be the vertex that lies in the first quadrant. I like to use the word vertex here. Right, let's draw this. It's a circle with radius 3. So does it therefore make sense? Martina, that's lovely, but it might be distracting on the video. Um, yeah, okay. It is... Okay, so now, we have... Uh, since it's a semicircle of radius 3, does it make sense that I would mark the x-axis at negative 3 and 3 and the y-axis at positive 3? Yes. Yes, two threes. Guys? Now we're working on this, we're preserving it for posterity on YouTube, so don't be distracting. Okay. Doing my thing. Now, this figure shows a rectangle. They also go ahead and tell you. Wait. Yes. Do you say it shows a rectangle? Uh, the picture shows a rectangle, and I'll get to that in a sec. The picture also tells you that this equation is y equals the square root of 9 minus x squared. Who knows? Yes. Who knows where this equation comes from? The distance okay. formula. Distance formula is very close, actually. It's got the same root as the distance formula. It's also the Pythagorean theorem. Yeah. If this were an entire circle, what would its equation be? Ooh. Um, I don't know. 15. Y equals 9. Oh, uh, I know. Not the um, entire uh, circle, so Chris. There's a radius. Cute. There's a radius squared in there. What's the equation of any circle? Oh. On the test this Thursday. No, pi r squared. Stop. That's the area of the circle. We're not doing that. X squared, X squared plus y squared equals r squared. And on Thursday, you'll also have some where it's x minus k and y minus h. So don't forget that. Um, if I were to solve this for y, it would be y squared equals r squared minus x squared. And then I would square root both sides. And y would equal either plus or minus r squared minus x squared. The top half is a function. It's the positive one. If I put a negative here, I'll get the bottom half of the circle. That shows up a lot. Yes, Brandon? Um, when do we do guy? It's been up since Monday. No, like, oh, like that? Well, uh, tomorrow I'll go over more specifically what will be on it. For now, let's focus on these word problems. So this process here, starting from the equation of the circle, is where this equation comes from. This is the function which draws the top half of a circle. Um, now there's a rectangle they draw in here. They show this point, and they call this point just x, y. Hmm. And there's a rectangle in here. Okay? Now, A. Express the area of the rectangle, and they say, I'm going to summarize this. A is a function of x. So that notation tells me the area is going to be written in terms of x. Express the area of this rectangle, A of x. Who has an idea? Who has a hint? Who has a clue? Who has a hope? Who has a prayer? Um, no. I have a prayer. Yes. Um, rectangle in general? Length times width. Okay. This is, let's break this down a little bit more. In terms of this rectangle, the width or the height of this thing would be a y value, right? Yeah. Stephen just said x times y, and it looks like the width would be an x value, except for one thing. You guys are very close. Now, it looks like what Drew did you took how this length times width. You guys see how this length times width would be an x times y? Okay, and then what Drew did is a very smart substitution. He just took this y and replaced it with what y equals in our function, 9 minus x squared. There's just one thing missing. On this graph, x only refers to 
from the origin out to this x value. This is 0 to x. This is 0 to negative x. 2x. Yeah, this it. Bingo. Um, the base of this rectangle has a width of this length times 2. It wouldn't be negative, right? I mean, it would be negative. Negative 2x, right? Um, because you have the negative on that side. Yeah. I know, it's a, it's a little like uh, when you get to calculus. When you get to calculus, there's a lot of discussion of what negative means. But in this case, we're just talking about positive area. So we have to get this to be one positive number. And the way to express this as a positive number is to take this length and double it. Otherwise, what you're saying is this x and the negative x would cancel out. And then you'd have a base of zero. But that's not what we have here. When you get to calculus, you'll talk about that. But for now... Take the positive length, double it, and this should be 2xy, where 2x is the length, which means, Drew, I just needed 2x there. So 2x. Yeah. And that is my length times width. Um, B, express the perimeter as a function of x. I'm going to do B over here. I apologize for those of you used to a left-to-right orientation. Those of you who are good with Chinese or Hebrew will probably be very comfortable with this. Yes? Part of the first one? Yeah. Would it be 2 times the square root of 9x, 9 minus x squared plus 2x? That sounds right. Or plus, yeah. Almost. So close. I'm going to put this guess up here. Okay, perimeter is this plus this. Plus this, plus this, oh, right? Oh, you have to um, multiply by three. No, right. I mean, like... It's going to be two of these four and two of these, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be... This whole length here, we just said... So it'll be four x. Yeah, is two x. So if I have two of these, that's going to be four x. And then it's got two y's in it, these two y heights. But like Drew correctly substituted up here, y is root 9 minus x squared. So 4x plus 2 root 9 minus x squared would be correct. Well, wouldn't you square that? Because, oh, no, you could do it. This is perimeter, not, yeah, that area. Okay, so here's how you express the area. Here's how you express the perimeter. Incidentally, problems like this all over calculus. As you're moving on to calculus, AP next year, or in college, you'll do a lot of these when you yeah. get to what's called optimization. Well, see, that doesn't seem that hard now, but you didn't explain that yesterday, or did you? Oh, yeah, you did. Sorry. I'm sorry. I think Actually, no, I didn't, I didn't do it. You actually yeah, had a good point. I did not explain this specifically yesterday. <laughs> I think I said as you guys were headed out, I didn't have time to get to an example like each one, so some of them would be surprises. Um, so, no, that's, your first comment was actually fair. Oh. But on the other hand, in an honors class, that's going to happen sometimes. I'm going to be like, here's the general idea. You got some specifics to figure out on your own tonight. I'll help you tomorrow. Okay. That will just happen in this class. I don't have time to do it. For a freshman course in college, would you really start out like where you ended off, kind of? Like, because we're in pre calculus when I started. In uh, college calculus, you'll take a placement test. Oh, okay. And depending on the university, they will toss you into whatever. Into anything from the equivalent of Algebra 2 to first year calculus. Okay. Totally depends on how you do on that test. And I don't take it personally either way, like as a teacher, where the kids I teach wind up because it's so random. Some of my smartest kids in pre-calculus go on to get put like a year back because that college has a really hard math department. And some of my kids go right out of here into college calculus. Just depends on where you go. Um, it also depends on your major. They got calculus courses for business majors, which aren't as hard as calculus courses for math majors. And you might play, you might place into like a business calc, but you couldn't get into a math calc, uh, stuff like that. Yeah. Twenty four. Um, yes, we can. That one I was confused about because, um, yes, I love this one. Okay. I love this one. With the yeah. table, they only gave. They, they did. Gave like X. They and did. And the thing is, with that rectangle, with any rectangle, unless they give you like. Was that the rectangle one? The like the. Yeah, the yeah. Okay, so number... Like, the width, the, not the width, like, they give you another variable or something. Then, yeah. Like, it I hear what you're saying. It had, like, Let's take a look at it. Okay, 24. You have 600 feet of fencing to enclose a rectangular field. 